Hello everyone and welcome to Fallout 4 Mods Week 9. Let's get started. First off is Standalone Shivs by Elgos. This adds 5 new baby shivs to the game that you can find on enemies or in safes. Right now the shivs included are Rusty Shiv, Screwdriver, Fork, Table Knife, and Scissor. Shivs can be turned into any of the other shivs through a weapon workbench, so if you want your screwdriver to magically turn into a fork, no problem. These all have a damage between 20 and 30, depending on which shiv, and they also have a fast swipe speed. It's a good weapon for the beginning of a playthrough, and a pretty interesting idea. Bear Grylls Gerber Parang Machete by Yogenzia and Gambit77. Another bladed weapon, the Parang deals 36 damage, but can be increased up to 72 on a workbench. The model and texture for this are fantastic. I really enjoy the look of this, especially the grip. Just has a modern look, but it also fits into the aesthetic of Fallout as well. Oren Ishii's Katana by Yogenzia. Beautiful mesh and texture for this weapon. Damage is at 38 with a medium speed. There are no mods for this, so you won't be upgrading the blade. But a Katana, I feel, kind of outweighs that for some people. Uh, especially if you're role-playing with this sweet little baby. Very nice sword. Uh, excuse me, Katana. And uh, yeah, good stuff. Menace, standalone sword by Billy Rowe. Another classic sword from Billy Rowe. The Menace is a powerful sword with 60 damage and medium speed. There are no mods for this either, but at 60 damage, that's pretty good to take down most enemies. Don't know if this was a mistake, but Billy Rowe's previous sword, the Regent, is a requirement for this weapon. It's not a huge deal since more weapons are always better, but it wasn't listed in the description, so I had to figure that out myself. Besides that though, fantastic weapon, very beautiful, very sexy. Modular Kalash Assault Rifle by Doom. This assault rifle is fantastic as always from Doom. It includes a plethora of mods, 24 ammo types, 15 receivers, 14 scopes, 8 barrels, 7 magazines, 4 ducks, 6 stocks, and 5 muzzles. The Kalash is integrated into the leveled lists and will spawn on high level gunners and certain vendors as well. This weapon is fantastic looking and very deadly. WHMK22 Heavy Machine Gun by Skibida by Skibida Skibida. Sorry, I had to say it again just in case you forgot. Um, another mashup weapon, the WHMK22, is a fantastic heavy weapon that can serve as a replacer for the minigun if you've gotten bored of it. Mods include two 5mm receivers, two 50 cal receivers, four barrels, three sights, and four muzzles. Sorry, no ducks for this one. I had a ton of fun with this, and once you upgrade it, the magazine size is huge, so you can just spray and pray, and basically take down anything that's in front of you. Deployable Turret Pack 2 by Sean MS 1991 This adds 16 turrets in total, 7 are vanilla, and 9 are unique. They can be crafted at a chemistry station under turrets and require a good amount of material to create. Also, when you throw them down, you will require the ammunition used for the turret, as it will take a chunk out of your inventory to function. Turrets act like grenades in that you can select and throw them by holding down the melee button on your mouse or keyboard. I did find that their health was a little bit low, and most of the time they would get destroyed pretty quickly, or they would destroy themselves, especially with the fat man. But if you have a repair kit, which is one of the other features, it's uh, another craftable thing, then you just hit repair, and you're good to go. You can interact with the turret in a few ways. Just walk up to one, hit your interact key, and you'll have your choice of picking it up, reloading, repairing, or cancel. It's a really awesome mod and a great way to breathe some new life in battles. Road Flares by Matsuhuman. This mod is pretty sweet if you have a Darker Nights mod on or you want to reenact Jurassic Park. Flares can be found on bodies, vendors, and in containers. They last about 20 seconds, so use them sparingly, and these definitely add some atmosphere too, so very nice. Automatron iBot Companions by Fink. That's right everyone, now you can make your very own iBots. This mod adds iBots to the Automatron DLC workshop under the Torso section. There are five frames available to choose from and three sensor packages that either improve combat AI, accuracy, or perception for your iBot. For legs, there's an iBot propulsion system that can be upgraded to increase the speed of your bot. Overall, there are 21 iBot weapons, or you can choose to have a pacifist iBot with no weapons if you want it to be murdered really quickly. Along with this, you can put every other robot mod on the iBot, including legs and arms, along with the voice. Currently, you cannot change the color, though, but in the future, I would imagine that feature would be added. Along with those odd combinations, you can also attach the iBot thruster to any torso, and uh, it'll kind of just 
magically float, as you can see here, just goofing around. Don't don't mind us. This is totally normal. Rainier's Destructible Lights mod by Rainier. This was a very early concept for Destructible Lights, but so far this mod has a bright future. Pun completely not intended. Currently, I could only find two types of lights that could be destroyed, and they are mostly the ones found in the sewers, the red ones, and there was one white light that I could uh, take out. As you can see here, once you shoot the light, it goes off. Currently, there's no way to get rid of the glow, but with the creation kit, that's probably going to be an easy fix. This does increase your stealth if you shoot these out as well, which is pretty awesome. I'm looking forward to the future of this mod, like I said. And um, if you take out the lights, you leave the interior, and you come back, the lights will come back. But that's only so there's not any bugginess or stuff going on. So I'll keep an eye on this. This one's going to be a, a good one in the future, I can tell. We in my week! Citizens of Sanctuary Mills, this is the Brotherhood of Steel. We mean you no harm. Little tiny baby ship. That's right, everyone. It's a little baby Pridwin. Kind of. Not really. That's a big ass baby. Craftable under structures, metal prefabs. The Pridwin will cost 100 steel, 30 glass, and 5 plastic. When you spawn it, it will definitely take your frames down for a second or two, but after that, you should be good. I was able to place a few of them, and my uh, frame rate wasn't affected too much. Kind of depends on your system, as it is basically the Pridwin model just kind of shrunken down. Goofy mod, pretty cool, and now you can have your very own Pridwin fleet. Ah, yes. Thanks for watching everyone, hope you enjoyed. As always, leave any mods you think I should check out in the description, and I'll do that. So thanks for watching everyone, hope you enjoyed, I know I did. And I shall see you in the future. Whee!